fantastic. Well, it's really nice. Cowries, always counting prizes. This man was beaten so severely that he's been left with a pixelated face. Street Crime UK 2, Monday to Thursday at 9.30, only on Bravo. Will the silky skills of the crazy gang rub off? Let's sit back and see on Fashion News Football Challenge. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, Team Captain Jason gets a taste of the highlight. I don't know what I'm doing. Nah. You will do. The lads head out on their first squad social. It's Fash FC on tour! <laughs> and Fash FC's first league match doesn't quite go to plan. Come on, quiet! We're not having this. The back four, if you don't want to play, get off up pitch now. Over the summer, Bravo embarked on a nationwide hunt to find 20 players to form a squad managed by football legend John Fashionu. Over 2,000 players auditioned for the show, 500 were invited to the trials and these were whittled down to the 20 who made the final squad. This squad was entered into the Premier Division of the Hendon and District League, one of the toughest Sunday leagues in the country. John has never managed a team before. 4-4-2, always like that formation. And he didn't pick the squad. But by the end of the season, Flash FC must win the league. It's 7.30am on Sunday and the players are arriving for their first match together, a friendly against Hendon FC. Tribute band agent Jason and his girlfriend Michelle drove down from a gig in Manchester the night before and had to sleep in the car park. Morning! Do you want your bacon roll and a cup of tea? No, we had a gig in Manchester last night, didn't we? No. What we time left? did you finish? About half past two. <sighs> Punishment, mate. First what, game. The little curd, Cherby, the little loud lad. Yeah, he's left back. Left back. Bash arrives with his trusted assistant, Mace. He'll coach the lads and keep them in order. Steve Lacey. Steve, let's see if we can find you. Okay, Steve. Good. Let me ask one question, Steve. Yep. Before you answer, you already know. What time did you get to bed last night? 10.30. Although one of the players makes a bit of a flash entrance, Flash is not impressed. Morning, Bubba. Morning, Doug. How you doing? Good to see you. Morning. Where are you Morning. down here? Yeah, Ricky. How you doing? Ricky, that'll be the first and last time you call me John, huh? Boss or gaffer and yeah. mace, OK? I'm Ricky, you got a watch? I do. That's 10 past nine. And what time are you supposed to be here? Nine o'clock. Not a good start, Ricky. In 10 minutes late calling me John. What time did you get to bed last night? <coughs> Before you answer the question, do you want to lie to me or tell the truth? Which one? I'm going to tell you the truth. Because we know. What time? Uh, get to bed. Yep. Three o'clock this morning. That's what I thought. Okay. Am I the last one? I think so. Asian TV presenter Aaron is one of the last to arrive. Morning. Or should I say evening? Any reason? You're changing your mind, your reservations? You don't want to play? What? I left my boots. Yeah, okay, left we, boots can, we can at home. I left my boots at home and my dad made me a Brent Cross. What do you think, Mace? Does that one sound good one? That's a better one than I used to use. No, no, no. no. I don't, I don't we've heard that. better ones. But yeah, I've heard, we've heard better ones, but that's not bad. Yeah. Well done, lads. We're all fit and we're well. The ones who are late, don't let yourselves down. I can't justify picking the ones who are late. In fair on the ones who get here early. And then the day when I pick the ones who are late, the rest of the lads are going to look at me and say, listen, Gaffer, you're not doing it the right way. Bash takes the lads to the changing room where they get to see their kit for the first time. But not everyone likes their kit. While the players get changed, Fash explains why he will not tolerate lateness. You know, whether you're going to come in half a minute late, or half an hour late, it's the same thing, you're late. You've got to make an impression on the coach, 
you've got to make an impression on the manager. And there was five of them who did make an impression. And of course, yes, that is going to influence how I select the team. One player definitely heading for Fashi's bad books is Jamal. He finally turns up a full hour late for the first match. When you're ready, lads, let's go and do the team photos. Everyone outside, lads, let's go. Come on. Come on! As the rest of the team prepares for the squad photo, Jamal rushes to get changed. The gaffer isn't going to be happy. Not a good start. How old are you again? 16. We've already had the girlfriend laid me, made me late. Children. We've had the, the children. We've had the, the, the wife. Yep. We had the car broke down, flat tire. We had that tire, one. Yeah. What one? You what? Go on, go on, what was it? Go on. I didn't know about the engineering reconstruction on the train route. There is no excuse. This is your first day. I cannot justify playing you when all the rest of the lads are saying to me, "Well, hang on, Gaffer. This kid is the youngest boy here. He's an hour late, and now you're going to play him. This isn't a game. This is your life. I don't care if you had to stay here overnight. I don't care." Don't let me down because we're thinking a lot of you. You come highly recommended. Now, how would you like if I said to you, you can't play today? I would like a tour bus. Exactly. For you, I think you've got an opportunity, from what I hear, and if it's right, for you to go into league status. Keep your nose clean. Not a good way to start. With Jamal's dressing down over, it's time for the team photo. Come on, Steve, move yourself, move yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. hey, should we move it? That's lovely. After the photo, Fash unveils a major surprise for the lads. The end of season prize. The good news. One of you is going to win this car. And in the season, the viewers are going to vote in and they're going to say who they believe. I myself will have a vote on who I want to win this car. And then you yourselves are gonna vote amongst yourselves on who you want to win this car. The three finalists will then go into a penalty shootout. <laughs> a penalty shootout, the last show of the season. And the winner will have this baby. I was quite open for some sort of prize at the end of the season. I was hoping for a pay three model, but uh, can't do it. You can't even buy fireworks! <laughs> yeah, I need to get my driving license before the end of the season, man. Wow, convertible. Yeah, it's a bad boy. Back in the changing room, Bash is looking for a club captain. Now we said before we're looking for a captain. Anybody who wants to be captain or think they've got the ability, the leadership qualities to be captain, just put your hand up so I can have a look. That's what I need. <laughs> That's what I like to see. 20 looks. That's what I like to see, that. making it hard for me. Great. That will be announced after the match. Then it's time for Fash FC's first match. A friendly against Hendon FC. Experienced and tough opposition. Fashi's squad have had no coaching at this point and have never played together before. And we are off and underway in the first match for Fash FC of the 2003-2004 season. Uh, but at the moment it really very much is just get stuck in and see what happens. Oh, that's a scything tackle. That is a big, bad tackle there. Warren War manages to get himself up to his feet. He's got a big smile on his face, Warren War. But I think the referee is going to have a word here with the youngster. Fash FC have been under sustained pressure in the first half resulting in a number of corners to the opposition. In comes the delivery right across the face of goal and into the back of the net and Fash FC have conceded their first goal of the season. And the news wasn't getting any better for Fash and the boys. Now here's Joel Bevis surging run for Hendon, in they go and gets the shot away. The offside flag is raised over there but it's going to count still. Forward come Hendon now, good ball into space and this is another chance, Fash FC up against it here. Oh and the shot slashed in from Byfield and that's the second sitter he's missed this afternoon. Collins gets away with it, came out and well that's a let off for John Fashion who's team. Hendon FC in possession now, looking to try and work their third goal of the afternoon. Two goals to nil they lead and Collins comes, he flaps at it and Collins is down, he needs to get himself back onto his feet, over it goes, oh what a header away and that's just saved on the line, big challenge in on Dylan. 
And what a diving header from Stephen Lacey. Stuart Collins, the goalie, is hurt. He's very, very hurt down there. And what a header that was from Lacey. In he comes there, and look, he just collided there with Byfield, who tries to get in. He didn't get up very quickly. In comes the shot, and look at that diving header. In he comes but as Hendon surged forward once more, things were about to get embarrassing for Fash FC. Now it's Vieira Lopez, goes for goal. Stuart Collins, oh, Stuart Collins has made a hash of it. That is an absolute shocker from Stuart Collins, and 3-0 Hendon lead. Well, that's going to put a smile back on the face of Christopher Campbell as we go to half-time, the reserve goalie. And so Fash it's half-time in their first friendly match, and the lads are already 3-0 down. Can Fash FC claw it back in the second half? Find out after the break. Sunday morning is a time for peace and relaxation. But not for everyone. If you want to liven up your Sundays, then get yourself out of bed and come down and watch Fashion the Boys in action. Getting to the match is easy. The stadium is situated in Barnet, North London. By overland, travel to Cricklewood on Thameslink. Come on! By tube, take the northern line to Brent Cross. And if you're coming by car, the nearest main roads are the A41 and the A406 North Circular. The choice of travel is up to you. Parking and entrance is free. Kickoffs at one. See, taken on this left hand side by Warren Wall. Great ball in. Oh, and it's straight in. See you there. I'm not going around there again. Take it under the cycle. What's all this? Where are you heading, mate? I'm trying to get back to work. No way. Nothing's getting through at the moment. If you're over 50 and on benefits but want to get back to work, there are probably all sorts of things getting in the way. Huge skills gap. Oh. Like not having the right skills for the jobs available. A New Deal personal advisor can help get rid of the obstacles that are stopping you by helping you out with everything from retraining to finding employers who will value your experience. And before you know it, you'll be on your way to work. New Deal. The deal is you're not alone. Call free on 0800 587 Grab your mobile. You can sign your Nokia with your own name. Just text the word TAG and your name to the number 8181. So text TAG and your name to 8181. Is the interest rate on your credit card starting to take over your life? Well, help is at hand in the shape of the new RBS Advanta MC Squared card. Call 0800 10 20 20 and we'll send you details. You'll pay no interest until next June on balance transfers and purchases. And there's no annual fee. After this, you'll benefit from our low standard rate of 12.9% APR. Cut your credit card rate down to size. Call us now on 0800 10 20 20. Beer Care is back, says Vogue. Pantem Pro-V Volumizing Root Booster Gel Spray boosts and thickens your hair to give it more volume. From the Pantem Pro-V Star Range, now big is even more beautiful. During your period, your body is more sensitive and you may be more aware of how comfortable things are. Mm. 
the good news is Always have introduced a completely new cotton-like top sheet. So you can have Always super absorbent protection now with a new cotton-like feeling. What's all this? Whatever's stopping you getting back to work, a New Deal personal advisor can help clear the way. New Deal. The deal is you're not alone. Can you guess what happens next to the driver of this car? Does he A. Scream like a little girl B. Start praying Or C. Break every single bone in his body Let's take a look Oh, 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 ow. oh dear me Well, it's none of them The guy emerges from the twisted wreckage and decides to go jogging And why not? Test your road brains in Crazy Drivers Monday to Thursday at 9 only on Bravo Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, the lads face a few home truths. I think we can all put our hands up and we can all say we are not fit. And Jason spends it like Beckham. Is that a code or is that the price? It's the first game for Fash FC and the squad are 3-0 down to Hendon. New manager Fash attempts to reorganise for the second half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll make some okay. changes again. Sa Sam and Jason up front. Okay. All right. Jamie, we may even bring you back in again and switch it as we go along, all right? We've got to do something to get back in. So you're going to stay on, Sam, huh? Yeah. yeah. Good man. Goalkeeper Chris attempts to G up the team. No joking around now. No joking, no mercy. What are we going to do? Listen up. Listen up. We're going to go and smash them every. Back on the pitch, the lads are trailing 3-0. Out of desperation, the gaffer throws on latecomers Jamal and Aaron to see if they can make an impact. And we are off and underway here in the second half. It's Hendon in the green and white stripes attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. And they lead by three goals to nil here as we enter the second half. Bash FC make a better start and apply the pressure to Hendon's defence. Phillips and it could be Sam Diamond released through here. Sam Diamond is in, could have our first goal for Fash FC and it's into the back of the net. Sam Diamond gets the first goal for Fash FC and John Fashion who's on the pitch, everybody's on the pitch. They're celebrating over there in front of the dugout. Look at these scenes here, Sam Diamond it is. There he is celebrating with his teammates. Sam Diamond, the 23 year old from Manchester gets the first goal for Fash FC of the season and what a strike it was. Fash FC then in possession, Bellet in field looking for Jamal Perara. I think we're going to have to get him a new, uh, a new tea cosy for his head because that bright purple doesn't really go with the orange and black stripe. Still gets the shot away, blocked this time and there's a man on the back post. Oh, and there's another goal! And it's Pat McCarthy from the right hand side sneaking in there on the back post. Nobody expected that, certainly none of the Hendon defenders. And Pat McCarthy off the bench to score and look, Fash is off the bench once again. He's celebrating down there with his players and it's Pat McCarthy 3-2 now, just one goal between these two sides. We've got game on here. It's going to be a throw in on the right hand. Fash FC's bold comeback is stopped in its tracks by Hendon's fourth goal. Campbell flaps at it, oh and it's into the back of the net, Chris Campbell comes and flaps at it and the Fash FC goalie couldn't get there and it's going to be the second goal of the game for Joel Bevis, he's been the star of the show so far for Hendon this afternoon. They trail by four goals to two here. With five minutes to go, the final nail is driven into the coffin. Here, goal coming in, oh and it's into the back of the net, nothing Chris Campbell could do about that one. Chris Campbell beaten once again, second time in this half and well Chris Campbell a dejected figure, what a strike that was and oh dear, Fash not but there was still time for a spectacular consolation goal for Fash FC. Well, great ball in. Oh, and it's straight in. Straight the way through into the back of the net. And he's going to celebrate that one. Warren War, he is the man. Look at him celebrating down there to the camera. Warren War, look at that mean look. Hinchcliffe showed good skill. Now here's Hendon on the attack, lovely little back heel nutmeg there. Chris Campbell's beaten, oh how has he not scored there? He's found the side netting and look at the look on his face. That is up there with the biggest howlers of the season so far. And there goes the full time whistle for the opening game of the season for Fash FC in the 2003-2004 season. Well what a disappointing afternoon. McCarthy shed some light on it with a goal in the second half 
And there's Jason Phillips as well, who was a bright light for Fash FC this afternoon. John Fashion, who's got some work to do there. After the match, Fash lets the squad know what he thinks of their performance. Take your seat, lads. First of all, congratulations. Second half, I thought you were great. I think you lads know you were great as well. Key thing is fitness. I think we can all put our hands up and we can all say we are not fit. You boys can play. Ultra. You boys can play football. I've seen enough there. If you had another yard or so, which you get from your fitness, I tell you, we'd have gone out there with a draw and we could have even won there. Bearing in mind, it's the first time you boys have played together. The players gather in the club bar to hear the gaffer make an announcement. All right, lads, listen up. The captain, somebody who's going to lead from the front. Somebody who's going to lead by example. Somebody that you, the players, will respect. Jason, come forward, lad. Where are you? Congratulations. <laughs> New captain. Jason will be coming to a premiere, a film premiere, with us next week. I think maybe you better just say a couple of words to the lads. You better get used to it because yeah. this is what you're going to have to do. Obviously, if you put your views across, I'm much appreciated for it. And thank you very much. And I won't let you down. Two days later, and new captain Jason has been invited by Fash to attend a film premiere. But if he's going to act like a football star, he needs to look the part. It looks pretty um, expensive wherever we're going. So he's headed off to trendy Kensington to get kitted out. Hello, I'm Jason. I'm yeah, here. I'm here. Let's go. What kind of event is that actually? It's um, a film premiere, Bad yeah. Boys 2. With Jason's wardrobe sorted, he moves on for some final preening. Is that the code or is that the price? 280. That's the price. Now that would get you noticed. Thousand <laughs> pound for those. Can't even afford the rest of the leg. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> At the moment, it's starting to feel like the Premiership football already. Coming down the street, filming, everyone's thinking, who's that, who's that? But it's just a little only. Everyone's going to be wearing black there tonight. If I'm going to be wearing brown, I'm going to stand out a little bit. So it might attract some attention, maybe. It'd be good. Any attention is good attention, isn't it? I could get used to this. I'm coming in here once a week for a new suit. Feels good. Feels 1,500 quid's worth. <laughs> I wouldn't pay for it myself. I'd rather a second-hand car, but uh, this is um, nice. I'm having a brilliant day so far. I'm really enjoying myself. I can get to live like this. Wait till all the boys see this. They'll be saying, right, I'm, I'm going to be player of the match next week. I'm gonna be, they're going to love this, whatever they get involved in. With Jason's wardrobe sorted, he moves on for some final preening. Hi. Hi. Jason Phillips here for <laughs> Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> brilliant. Happy. Thank you very much for that. No <laughs> I shall go to the ball. Running low on time, Jason gets changed downstairs in the salon to the delight of the hairdressers. Next time you can bring me a Sam. I will. I can't wait. Walking down that red catwalk with the lights on. Oh, nice. With Jason ready for his red carpet moment, there's one more surprise in store for him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey. Look at this. We can do no better for you, mate. What are you, Cap? This is Paul, my driver. How are you doing, right? Oh, my go. goodness. You might as well live the life for the rich and the famous. Whoa. Hey, enjoy is, it. Is this how you live every day? I don't know about every day, but, you know, well, once in a while. Yeah. You know, Lovely suit, nicely kitted out, nicely <laughs> decked out. Yeah, fantastic. Live the life, enjoy oh, it. Oh, this is it. The limo. What more can you want? What a day. A day in the life. Yeah, yeah. A day in the life of a footballer. <laughs> At Leicester Square, the crowds are out in mass to get a glimpse of the celebs. Good luck, girls. Good luck, good luck. Hope you do well. Hope you're a great manager and you better win. Good luck, John Fash and you with your new team. Um, John Fash FC. Fash gets a mesmerised Jason to give him a hand pleasing the fans. Jason, Jason, Jason. 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 
you doing? Okay. Captain, Jason. Have a good time. Sensational. Right. What's your name? Jason. Jason. I'm the captain of the team. Oh, right. Okay. And we're going to be seeing you on a Sunday. Oh, right. Yeah. 11 o'clock kick off. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. After recruiting some more Bash FC fans, it's time to watch the flick. Go, go. Ain't nobody getting away from me today. Hey, come on. Shoot somebody. What are you doing, man? That's my bad. See that? They throwing cars. How about I not see that? The boss. You got questions? Just relax. Oh! Oh! What a day, eh? Uh, Unbelievable. Great night. Great night. You know, this is a big thing. When you go to these big premieres, and this is one of the big premieres, you're signing autographs. You don't know the good people, you don't know the bad people. Sometimes you get the weirdos come up to you and start coming alongside you, you can't get rid of them. But all the time, it's nice to be a diplomat and be nice to people. And that's what Jason's got nicely, so it's really nice. Keep it yeah, up, hold on. It's, uh, it's been an amazing day from the start to the finish. You know, it hasn't even finished yet. Apparently there's more to come. So I'm living the life and it's been an absolute pleasure. <sighs> Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge. It's party time for Fash FC. Fash FC on goal! And the squad are struggling in their first league match. Fight quiet! We're not having this. The back four, if you don't want to play, get off that pitch now. She stands three miles offshore. An awesome spectacle. Once a great defender and prison. Now where the cannons of Napoleon once stood, ultimate mental and physical test stand. It is time for new invaders to defeat her and collect the gold. Brand new Fort Bayard starts 20th October exclusive to challenge. Sorry, the, the tap's still leaking. Would you mind kind of sort of fixing it a bit? Well, see, I'm in the van now, mate. So if I get out, it's another 50 quid. All right. What? 50 quid? What's this? Candy camera? And another thing, did I tell you to get an egg card? You get 0% on balance transfers until the 1st of April 2004. You get 0% on everything you buy until the 1st of April 2004. And you get money back on all your purchases as well. Cracking! You're starting to get right up my nose, mate. Well, there's room enough for both of us. Come on, then, you spider monkey! Sort yourself out now at egg.com. It's Disney's most magical offer ever. Buy one selected Disney DVD or video and get another absolutely free. Imagine if water did more. Imagine if LucasAge Sport redesigned water for exercise and better hydration than water alone. LucasAge Sport Hydroactive. Water Plus. Percy, want your babies? Huh? Oh, go on then. Got the urge for a big bite? Try the new Burger King Pepper Jack stack loaded with flame grilled beef and pepper jack cheese for only $1.99. Got the urge? Get to Burger King. Holiday information? Should have asked Jeeves. To prove that Right Guard works from morning till night, we're putting Dave up there to the test. That'll teach him for working late. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fresh pit. For all day protection, choose Right Guard. Right through the day. Stream of stars and Oh, 
Boss Intense, the new fragrance for women. Rocky! Oh, Sorry, mate. Oh, Show me the silver. Show me the gold. Clark, Clark, is it true you're moving to Italy? Yeah. What about the baby? Okay. Carlsberg aren't football agents, but if we were, we'd probably be the best football agents in the world. <laughs> Honey, I got rhythm. I haven't used it. In the world where technology is only a button stepped away, having your finger on the pulse is a must. Gadgets and stuff. Keeping you inside technology. Friday at 7.30, only on Marvel. Coming up in part three. Buzz start the shape up. Well done. I think you'll see drastic difference within four weeks. Give me four weeks. And the lads hit the road for their first squad social. I'll tell you what, these Essex birds are easy, aren't they? It's Wednesday night, and that means training night for Fash FC. That's it, dig in, dig in. Fash gives the lads a lesson in finishing, and proves he hasn't lost his touch. Whatever, just put a little, little chipper in. Just put it in. Good. The Welsh wonder Jason was picked by Fash to be captain after Sunday's game. But how does Fash think Jason will cope with the added pressures? There's a tension from some of the players with Jason. That's because he's a good-looking lad, he leads as a captain very well, decision makers are not normally liked. As you see Jason now is not how you'll see Jason in six months time. Because I can see already he's pulling himself forward stronger and stronger as the leader. Either one of us are going to pass you the ball for one touch. It will be no surprise to me at all if Jason challenges me as the manager. Great, more, more fuel to the fire because at the end of the day I want to see a leader. I can deal with it, I can handle that situation. In we come lads. At the end of the session Fash will announce the team for the next match. But before that the team doctor gives them the once over. My name's Libby and I'm the team doctor. I'll be looking at their pulse rates and their blood pressures, seeing what their cardiovascular fitness is like. Is that how much it usually weighs? I'll be weighing the players, seeing if they need to lose a bit of weight and if they need to spend a bit more time training. OK, on the scales, please. Big Bone Buzz is next on the scales. I think for your height, that's a bit much. I need to lose a bit of weight, but I am a big lad, you know. Um, so I've been told. I think you'll see drastic difference within four weeks. Well done. Give me four weeks. Next up is Burley goalkeeper Chris. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Chris Campbell. Okay, can you step on the scales, please? With my trainers on or? Um, trainers on. On? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have my trainers off. <laughs> oh, God. That's gone up. The scales are showing 15, I think. 15 and a half. But then again, I've got these clothes on, so take off another two. Say about 13 and a half. I'm all padded today. <laughs> you could probably do with losing a few pounds. All right. All right, Doc. Got to lose a couple of pounds. Is that it now? Yep, that's it. Thank all you right, very much. Thank you. Bye. Uh, well, she says I've got to lose a couple of pounds, then I've got to lose a couple of pounds. It won't take me long. Overall, I thought their fitness was quite good. There were a couple who needed to lose a bit of weight, Chris and Andy, so we had some harsh words with them, but I think they already knew that. So hopefully they'll lose a few pounds for the next few games. Bash picks is 11. But there is one player who isn't picked, Jamal, who was over an hour late for Sunday's friendly. You guys have put chains around both my hands and Mace's hands. This might not be the 11 that I would normally have picked or Mace would have normally picked. But I said to you at the start, discipline is numero uno for us. Indiscipline will get you out of the team, will get you out of the squad. And it, not only that, it hurts us when players that we want to see in the team are not playing because they didn't turn up on time. One thing that I don't like is lateness, sloppiness, untidiness. 
and I'm just a bit sad because Jamal is one of our best players here. I'm not going to play him. Why am I not playing you? Because I was late. Because you were late. How late were you? Is it fair that I play you when I've got other players who are here on time? We all know Jamal is probably the best player in the team. But I ain't going to play him until he conforms and he starts doing it the right way. And if we have a battle, then so be it. I am hacked off that the gaffer said I can't play. I do dislike him a bit more because of that decision. Despite his punishment, Jamal remains defiant. I can't guarantee you're never going to be late again because that's just ludicrous. It's Friday night in central London and it's the first team social for the players. The squad of 20 are going on a pub crawl and the first stop is a bar just off Regent Street. The players are greeted with a glass of champagne and sit down to watch the first ever Bashers Football Challenge. Take your chairs, take your chairs. The movie's about to start. It's the first time many of them will have seen themselves on TV. I just saw myself on TV. Um, feels really strange, kind of a good feeling. Um, hope I didn't come across in a different way that I think I am. Hope my, fan, uh, my, my family are, are, are pleased. Hope my friends don't think I'm a bit strange. Captain Jason was concerned about how he would be portrayed. These things, you never quite know what they're going to do. You know, it could have been, could have made you look a bit silly, a bit pretentious, but I think that was genuine. But TV presenter Aaron is used to seeing himself on the big screen. I was one of the lucky few. I got, I got shown quite well on that. As I'm sure there'll be times when I'm shown in a bad light, but today I was shown in a fairly good light, so let's hope that continues. After the show, the players head off to meet their mystery mode of transport. Don't no worry, man. The cavalry is coming. It's coming. It'll be here in a minute. It's not long until a special double decker turns up to collect the lads. On board, a pair of babes dressed as bus conductors for the players' flavoured vodka shop. It isn't long before the first casualty of the evening occurs. 22-year-old civil servant Warren isn't feeling so hot. Vodka kills me whenever I have vodka. My lips go numb, <laughs> stomach starts churning, I feel, feel really sick, so I'm not going to have any more of them and even think of the smell of it now. The next stop is the East End, a traditional pub serving real ales. While the rest of the lads enjoy a beer, Martin focuses on the ladies. <laughs> there are no particular types of ladies that I distinguish between. If a lady's got that certain panache, if she's got the looks, if she's got the attitude, she'll be considered. But Colombian Fabian isn't feeling quite as frisky. I'm feeling okay, you know, a little bit dizzy, you know, because I've been drinking a lot. I drink once every year and tonight I just want to have fun, you know, with the lads. And I, I'm going to see how it goes, yeah. Back on the bus, Tony and Buzz start a verbal sparring match. You're right, you're right. You've got to be a bit cuter, or else we're not going to I'm like cute, it. look at me! You're mingy. <laughs> Peroxide. <laughs> oh, wait, that, that's your worst sight, turn around. That, that, that was the sixth part when I bought it. We're just on the way to the next bar. I don't know, we're going to a swanky bar apparently, so we've got to behave ourselves. Yeah, the boys have got to quiet down a little bit, they're a bit excited. But they soon kiss and make up. Oh, I'll tell you what, these Essex birds are easy, aren't they? <laughs> As the squad invade a cocktail bar on Park Lane, ladies man Martin invites a couple of girls, under false pretenses, to join the party. They actually think the Trevor Nelson, the Trevor Nelson as opposed to the Trevor Nelson imitation. But uh, hey, if they're happy with that, I'm happy with it too. These are the sort of women that you'd like on your arm when you're entering an establishment such as this. So I thought, fair enough, bring them in and we'll see what goes on. Warren's not happy about the uninvited guests. No, it's a broken team up. Twenty lads. Yeah, Trevor's gone and got two girls involved. And then everyone's game isn't on the night out. It's more about can I get involved with the, with the girls? I mean, for me, it's the last night out. Girls will come later. 
Meanwhile, Stuart and Fabian take it in turns to impress the girls with their party tricks. Oh, and Warren soon comes round to the girls' charms. Was I said it was um, it was shocking. It's going against what he said before, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the guys head off for their final stop, a club in Leicester Square. Martin reflects on how the players are getting on. We bonded, you know? we're family now. Yeah, so when we go out on a Sunday or whatever, we're going to be playing for each other, not just for ourselves. Captain Jason sees a few problems in the future. At the start of any relationship, it's brilliant, and then it'll go a bit ropey and pull it back together again. But at the moment, it's going great, good times. And Jason has an idea which player will get lucky with a girl. Out of the guys, I'm just trying to think who's who'd be the most likely to pull. Probably Lacey, because he's got like that cheeky little smile and everyone seems to love him, like a lovable rogue, you know, everyone loves him. Jason's premonition was right as Steve gets the first snog. <sighs> with three shows weekly, there's no excuse not to know what's going on in Fashion News Football Challenge. Friday night is a one-hour extravaganza. Make it home by nine to catch up on all the dramas of the past week, including the social night, exclusive action from last week's training session, and the build-up to the big game. On Sunday at eight, it's the big match. All the action pitch side, reports, and match analysis. Your Sunday is not over yet, though. There is still Fash's diary at 9.30. Half an hour of exclusive behind-the-scenes footage giving you an insight into the mind of a top Sunday league manager. Football's never looked so good. Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, it's the lads first league match and Fash isn't happy. There's the man on the back post, they've scored. They've scored, St Andrews have scored. We all know it was a fucking disaster. Can you guess what happens next to the driver of this car? Does he A. Scream like a little girl B. Start praying Or C. Break every single bone in his body Let's take a look Oh, 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 oh dear me Well, it's none of them The guy emerges from the twisted wreckage and decides to go jogging And why not? Test your road brains in Crazy Drivers Monday to Thursday at 9 only on Bravo Cardian Coke. Bacardi, welcome to the Latin Quarter. What are you doing here? Oh, with my dad. Sorry, do you mind if we... Uh... No, we're but Gary. Caroline. For just fourteen ninety nine, get one large pizza with garlic bread and potato wedges, plus two movie tickets. Oh, you got um, some um, any effects? Yeah. Just here. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Dad, the movie tickets. Oh, do you want to? Yeah, OK. Pizza Hut, grab a slice of the action. Reload on DVD and video. Surprised to see me? The Matrix Reloaded. Buy it on DVD and video. The Greyhound runs at 40 miles an hour and lives for 12 years. The Pronghorn Antelope runs at 60 miles an hour, but lives for a mere 11 years. The cheetah, fastest animal on earth, lives just 10 years. Now consider the giant tortoise. He toddles along a bit. He has a little break, walks a bit more. He has another little break. He travels at approximately zero miles an hour, but lives for 200 years. Have lots of little breaks with new Kit Kat cubes. OK, we've now got Kelly and Paul. Kelly, what do you want to say to Paul? Paul, you wear the worst glasses I've ever seen in my life. I just can't take you seriously anymore. Well, Paul, that seems loud and clear. You should have gone to Specsavers. Take him away, ladies. Welcome back, Paul. At Specsavers, designer glasses are reduced from £129 to £99. Should you have gone to Specsavers? They left her for dead. Don't you 
never wake up. <gasps> now it's to hell with revenge. It's kill or be killed, and I choose kill. Uma Thurman. Kill Bill. speed world of AOL broadband is now better value than ever. There are no setup costs, it's easy to connect, and now you don't even pay for the modem. You get all the excitement and entertainment of AOL broadband, all for one low monthly price of $27.99. There's never been a better time to experience AOL broadband, so for your free modem offer, call now on 08000 83 82 81. AOL. What happens is in your hands. Before showing the kind of material contained in the Jim Rose Twisted Tour, we normally warn the viewing public not to attempt any of the stunts contained within the program. However, since this show contains scenes of sword swallowing, scorpion eating, groin smashing, and extreme belly flopping, we here at Bravo can't believe that anyone would be dumb enough to try and copy them. So join life on the road with the most outrageous freak show you'll ever see. The Jim Rose Twisted Tour starts the 20th of October at 10, only on Bravo. Coming up in part four of Fashion News Football Challenge, it's crunch time for the squad. And the lads face an ear bashing from Fash. How many players out there can hold their head up and say they had a good game today? Sunday morning, and it's Fash FC's first league match of the season. The lads are raring to go. Yeah, the confidence is quite high in the squad. Uh, we didn't do too bad at all last week, so I think we're, uh, we're really geared up for this week. Uh, the competition this week's probably more our level, I think. I think we've got a good chance of uh, pulling it off, yeah. It's a massive, massive uh, start to the season. So, you know, this is going, we're going to find out how, how well we gel together. Uh, I'm not playing today, we've established that. Um, but I'm here to root for the lads, well, part of a big family. But I hope the lads do really well. I'm pretty sure, pretty confident we'll win the game. Get off on a good start, and hopefully we can do business. I reckon we can walk this, though, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of overconfident at this stage. I reckon we can walk this. We've got a decent enough team, and I'm sure they're not going to be as good as the team we played last week, so. Bash arrives, and this week he likes what he sees. Everyone's looking good, everyone's looking fresh. Everyone's clean shaven. Yeah, the boys are up for it. But they're still trading on the excitement. You know, the show's just kicked off on television. Everybody's got a lot of the, the adrenaline is really bubbling today. Yeah. Brilliant, I can't wait. Fit for today? Yeah, oh yes, definitely. Skipper, they're up Bed for it today. Yeah. They're up for it today, I'm telling you. Well, they're going to watch that on Friday. They've watched it, everybody's watched it. The whole world watched it. The whole world knows who you are. There's no hiding place. The teams that would not normally be up for it are up. Yeah. And for first time, Captain Jason, the adrenaline's really pumping. This is a big day for Jason. This is a big day. He's had the fun, he's had the showbiz, he's had the superstar, and he loves the superstar lifestyle. Now let's see if he can knuckle down to actually playing the bread and butter of football. This is where it is, because if he doesn't, he'll be off. He too shares his teammates' confidence. Oh yes, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, on the, when we went out on Friday, everyone was just saying, come on, come on, wish it was tomorrow, wish it was tomorrow, but uh, we're here now. It's going to be a good day. But the gaffer's more cautious. They're going to be facing a tough team today. Because this team isn't coming here for fun. These boys don't realise this team is coming here to win. And the normal tackles they wouldn't go in for, you'll find that they'll go in for. Two-footed, mm, tough boys. Let's see the reaction, how they get, a, how they handle a team coming in. Who The team have obviously played well last year. They finished off third last season. Yeah. It's going to be a good start. In the changing room, the lads are already running a book on which one of them will score first, and Jason's settling into his new role comfortably. There's, 
there's a wish list for us, right? There's like tracksuits and stuff, they're on the way. <laughs> there's oranges, is there anything else people want? But there's a problem that will put a dampener on everyone's day. Uh, couple of issues we've got to sort out. Jason, Warren, can we have a word with the outside, please? Both Jason and Warren stated on the first show that they had played professional football before. Flash has just been informed that this could be in breach of the Hendon League rules. I know that you're not playing professional football now, obviously, and you're not playing professional football now. So we've got to be very careful. We've made a decision now that is very difficult to stand both of you down. I know we're going to win it, but because right now of this issue, and everybody's here, the chairman of the league, everybody here, I want to do it the right way. This is our first game, so you two are going to step down. Is, is it definitely that I'll be playing for it? Can't play today. No, you're definitely not. Definitely right, not. So there's there's only one day. No hope. No, there's no hope today. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stand both of you down. It's not easy for me to tell anybody that at the moment. I know exactly what you've gone into and ready for the match today, especially my captain. But because of the situation, we could lose. We could have points deducted. We could be fined, or we could be thrown out of the league. Now it's up to the gaffer to break the bad news to the squad. We've had a couple of problems, a couple of hitches, shall we say. Nothing serious. But because of the show last night, the FA have heard and listened to Jason and Warren. Now, somewhere during the show, they've obviously mentioned that they, they play professional football or they're playing professional football. It's still a grey area, but the FA have said that they can't play today. It's not easy for us, two of our best players, but at the same time we want to make sure we push on. So I'm going to have to jiggle the team around a little bit. The loss of Jason and Warren gives others an unexpected opportunity. Ricky, where's Ricky? Yeah. Ricky, you're in? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Sam. You're playing. Jamie, you'll take over as captain. All right, lads, get yourselves ready. And here we go, it's the first league match in the Hendon and District League for Fash FC. As the game kicks off, Jason has time to reflect on the turn of events. This was a big day for me, this was huge. This was in the top, you know, the top list of my things I've done in my life. And for them to just out bureaucracy to say, right, we're not really sure, but you're not playing anyway. It's, I think it's, it's, not, it's not very good at all. It's almost, it's almost like petty. It's particularly tough as his family have travelled all the way from Wales to see him lead out the side. They've travelled six hours to get here. You know, my son's come all the way up. He's going to be the mascot. I've been telling him all week that he's going to run on the pitch. He's going to be on TV and all the rest of it. He's only five, for Christ's sake. And, uh, you know, to try and explain to him that he's not going on now. And it's, I can't really explain it to him that why I can't go on. But then he said to me, he looked at me, he looked up and said, yeah, but Daddy, you can play next week and the week after and the week after. Warren is also not taking it well. It's just killed me, do you know what I mean? It's just proper killed me. Nah, do you know what I mean? I hate watching football, but I want to be involved. And now I'm just on the outskirts. It's not good, do you know what I mean? The news has obviously shaken the players. They're not playing well. Fashion mates are not happy. There's the man on the back post, they've scored. They've scored, St Andrews have scored, Jamie Spaniel is down injured. Controversy here. After an appalling first half, the boys go into the break 1-0 down. Fashy's assistant, Mace, has some strong words for the team. Come on, quiet! We're not having this. The back four, if you don't want to play, get off that pitch now. If I say, get that halfway line and run there, you're just walking. You're just walking up there and having a breather. If you don't want to play, tell us now, we'll get you off, OK? Move them up all the time. Move them up. And if we say, hit! The front man, I mean, hit the front man. Not make your decisions and want to play down the line. Come on. We're giving them so much room between the back four and the midfield. They're just putting it in between us and running at us. So that's why the back four's got to get up. You've got to close that gap down. Because all they're doing is they're getting the ball, they're getting time to control it and run at us. We've been intimidated. No one's yeah, talking. No one's got a pair of balls. We're so up for it last week. What about this week? Where's your commitment this week? It's what we need. Let's all get out of it. The choice words at half time don't seem to have registered with the players. Mistake here by Stuart Collins in the goal and they're going to go two down. They are two down. Into the back of the net for St Andrews. They celebrate down here on the touchline and John Fashionu can't believe it. They've conceded again. A shocking second half sees St Andrews in total control. Downfield and the two players there go shoulder to shoulder. It's Aaron Sandu, but he's given the ball away to St Andrews number 10. There's a man open if they can find him. Shot on the turn, oh, what a goal! 
The back four can't keep them at bay and they let in another three goals. And here's a good chance though for St Andrews for another attack. They lead by three goals to nil, don't forget. And I wonder if they can make this a fourth. Chipped in by James Street, looking for Fitzpatrick. Here's the substitute, Butler in on goal and into the back of the net. Fash FC lose 4-0. We all know it was a fucking disaster. That's not often I swear. Absolute disaster. Ain't many players out there can hold their head up and say they had a good game today. And they ain't any good. It hurt me just shaking their hands. Bunch of fat ugly mugs. Well, at the end of the day, the only mugs are here. We're the mugs. He's one who fucking calls it the back. And it's all fucking awful stuff. Don't give us fucking bollocks. No, no, Nathan, Nathan, I'm not going to get you. Don't give us bollocks. Nathan, I'm not going to get you. 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 Nathan, I'm not one of you has come forward as man of the match. Jamie, come forward, son. Well done. Well done, Skipper. Jamie will be coming with me to the Loaded Magazine Award Night in the West End. And as you all know, Jordan Models, page three, they'll all be there. Well done, Jamie. Social night. We're going to have a social night, ladies, and it's going to be Saturday, and it's going to be at Ascot. Yeah. That's the good news. The bad news is not all of you are coming. You know we have the match donkeys? Well, we've chosen six. So six of the squad won't be coming to Ascot. Six of you will be going to a boot camp. Military style gentlemen. Who are the six? Steve Lacey, one donkey. <laughs> That's bad, man. That is hard. That's oh. bad. Oh. Ricky, Martin, and Aaron, and Stuart. I'm donkey, am I? Yeah. One way or another way, we've lost 4 0. So nobody in the defence can say they've had a good game. I would like to be able to say, Stu, in your defence, that you didn't do bad. But at the end of the day, Unfortunately, you have to blame your defence as well. It's been a day to forget, but the players are in reflective mood. I think we were, we were quite bad, we were quite appalling today. Uh, all 11 men and the subs used, I think none of us performed well at all. Um, really bad. Pretty, pretty, feel pretty low about it. We weren't good on our day, we, battled, we battled hard, but the formula just weren't there to uh, do the business for us. I, I was looking forward to this day so much and then it's just like a big anti-climax but it's just going to make it better for next week because I'm, I'm up for it more now than I've, ever, than I've ever been. Coming up this Sunday on Fash FC from 8pm join me Andy Goldstein, Andy Burton and Caroline Flack for the big Hi, match. The All the best the moments, pitch side action and changing room conflicts from the squad's first league match. It ain't gonna be pretty. Then at 9.30 it's Bash's Diary. A look back at the week from the gaffer's point of view. All the premieres, parties and publicity. Plus Bash dishes the dirt on the lads as he delivers his first team assessment. It was an, a defensive nightmare. Bash and Who's Football Challenge this Sunday only on Bravo. This man was beaten so severely that he's been left with a pixelated face. Street Crime UK 2, Monday to Thursday at 9.30, only on Bravo. Woolworths presents Keanu Reeves, Carrie-Anne Moss and Lawrence Fishburne in the biggest cyber blockbuster of the year. The fast-moving, high-kicking, bullet-stopping Matrix Reloaded. I want you to kiss me as if you were a kissing hand. That's all, just a sample. Why don't you sample this instead? DVD only $17.99, video only $11.99. This is not an illusion of the mind. Woolworths, let's have some fun. There are other disposable razors, but now there's new Gillette Sensor 3. Totally new handle. Three blades. 
mounted on responsive springs that adjust to your face. No disposable shaves better. You may think it's the best disposable you ever threw away. New Sensor 3, only from Gillette. Above the law, out of control. Get in. Beyond redemption. I'm twice nice. Dark blue. Buy it, rent it from Monday.